What's happening car modders? Welcome back to my real life car builds in GTA 5. I've had a couple of requests to do a rally fighter build using the new coil brawler from the ill-gotten gains part 2 DLC. I must admit I didn't really know too much about the rally fighter before looking it up. But it turns out this is one crazy road legal rally car. It's got a 6.2 litre V8 engine with 430 horsepower. It's got a top speed of 131 miles per hour or 210 kilometers an hour, and it will reach 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers an hour in just over six seconds. One of the key features of the Rally Fighter is it's highly customizable. In fact, when you order one, you actually go to the factory and help build it yourself. If you go to the Local Motors website, there's actually a cool little customization tool so that you can build your own Rally Fighter. And I'm gonna use the design that I came up with for the inspiration for this build. So once you've got your hands on a coil brawler, we're going to roll it into Los Santos Customs. Now the coil brawler is heavily based on the Rally Fighter, but having said that, no two Rally Fighters will look the same. So in terms of customization options, you're pretty much free to do whatever you want. Like I said though, we're going to use the black and orange color scheme that I came up with. So to start with, under chassis, I've stuck the roll cage on. For the primary color, I've selected gray, which is listed under matte. And for the secondary color, I've gone with orange, which is also listed under matte. For the roof, I've stuck on the spotlights. Now the suspension is totally personal preference, but I've used the race suspension, but I think it would be totally acceptable to leave the stock suspension on as well. The wheels that come with the coil brawler are actually pretty damn authentic, but I want to stick some branding on the outside of the rim, so I've gone with the Nevis, which are listed under off-road, and then under wheel accessories, I'm going to stick the custom tires on. And for the wheel color, I've gone with carbon black. The window tint doesn't really have much effect on how you drive this car in first person mode, so I've gone for the full blackout and gone with limo. And as usual, we're going to max out all the other performance upgrades. There's plenty of off-road vehicles in this game, and this is actually not a four-wheel drive vehicle, it's rear-wheel drive, but this thing handles like an absolute beast off-road. It's also almost indestructible, and it's definitely one of the most fun vehicles to tear around off-road. Anyway, as usual, I've stuck all my customization options in the description field so you can go ahead and build a rally fighter. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.